Hello and welcome again to The Racers TV. Let's have a look at what is a busy week of racing here in South Australia. On Saturday, we go racing in the metropolitan area, obviously on the Morfordville Park circuit. Now, the track work supervisor here at Morfordville, Banjo Patterson, tells me it's the Upper North Hawker, where we're also racing on Saturday afternoon. Sunday, we're off to Strathalban. Next Wednesday, it's Balaclava. And to wrap up the week, we go racing in the southeast on Thursday at Panola. John O'Connor's got a big day on Saturday with five runners. John, the first of them print money in the two-year-old, stepping up to 1,300 metres this weekend. Yeah, it's just haven't been any races for him, Terry. He's an improving young horse who um, has a very good attitude, but unfortunately they haven't programmed any races beyond about 1,200 for, for horses like him. So the races he's contested have been too short, but he's finished off well in them, and um, yeah, I think he, he should um, run a cheeky race this week. Your two mares doing battle again, Tabulated and Wheezy Attitude. They lined up in the centre rear stakes last start. It was a great result for Wheezy Attitude being placed in a black type race. Yeah, it's probably one of her career, probably career best run. Um, yeah, she's had a great trip. She's, um, she's off the stud soon, so um, yeah, they've just allowed us to keep her racing while she's in good form, and um, that was a real bonus the other day getting the black type. So um, they wanted to test her out of this trip. Um, might be a good thing to have on her CV if she can win a mile and a half race. So. We'll, um, we'll roll the dice and see how she goes. And tabulated, just out of form at the moment, not racing well. She hit a good patch of form over the summer, but had a little breather and hasn't come back in the same vein for some reason. But um, again, we just got out of this trip and we'll ride her quietly this time and see if she can finish off. All right, we then go to Road Warrior in race six. Uh, he's going really well, this horse, at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he's, um, well, he's, he's been placed in, I think, three, uh, been runner up in, I think, three listed races in his last five starts. So, um, his last start was a Lee Stakes. He wasn't suited with the set weights there. I, I didn't really want to run the horse, but um, he, he ran and ran well. But on, under the set weights, he was just terribly unsuited. But um, yeah, he deserves a win. This is the sort of race you'd say he'd be very competitive in. And you've made a gear change with him, though, with the, the blinkers off and the winkers going back on? Yeah, just something different. He's raced well with uh, either. So um, yeah, just sort of after a few runs, it might be time to try something a bit different. Yeah. Okay, Latin Hero, your other runner on Saturday. A couple of things. Firstly, the wide gate. Yeah, you know, I hate bad barriers at any time really, but um, you know, you got to, the others all drew well, so you're going to cop one bad one, but um, yeah, he might have to ride in quiet, I think, and, um, and just hope he can uh, have a little luck early. And the seven day backup, you confident with that? Oh, again, just, just do the programming here, you know, that's not always suitable, and some, you know, you had to go three and a half weeks between runs, and then two and a half weeks between runs, just for a lack of suitable races, so we don't back up, we're waiting another month, basically, so um, He's done well though, he's a sound young horse and he's, um, he's got good energy, so I don't really think it's an issue. Great little stories emerged in South Australian racing in the last month or so with Sahara Symphony. Samantha Bars, his trainer. Sam, you're having a lot of fun with him. Three in a row now after his win at Morfordville last Saturday. Yeah, it's very exciting at the moment, very exciting. And backing him up on Saturday and stretching him out to 2,400 metres? Yeah, well, originally we did look at the 2,400 um, after Balaclava, but he pulled up so well after Balaclava, I thought, well, we'll throw him in the 1950, we freshened him up, so, but he's done well. And I understand you're going to give him a break, win, lose or draw after the weekend? Yeah, he'll have a month off and um, just give him a little bit of rest. He's done really well, we, there's nothing we can fault with him, but uh, we might find something in the spring. Let's have a look at some of the racing coming up over the weekend. Firstly, on the Morfordville Park circuit on Saturday, a race we've discussed uh, in a bit of detail today with uh, John O'Connor and Samantha Barr. Race 5, the 2400 metre race on the program. Mickey M heads the weight, the winner of the Mount Gambier Cup last Friday after a great ride by Dominic Tourneur. A good three-year-old race at Morfordville on the program on Saturday as well, race number seven. I'm sure that's going to be a very keen betting race. The Upper North, as Banjo Patterson told us, we race at Hawker, and it's the first leg of the Adelaide Galvanising Industries Outback Cups Championship. It's the North Point Hawker Toyota Cup, and uh, good luck to the club with their meeting there on Saturday. And on Sunday, it's the third leg of the Apprentice Challenge, sponsored by the SATAB. We had the second leg on Wednesday, and that was taken out by Jackson Matthews at Murray Bridge. The third leg, there's the race on Sunday at Strathalban, and that series will wrap up with the final leg at Balaclava next Wednesday. We'll see you again next week. There's nothing like a day at the races.